today's collectible spot, we're having a look at the Lego Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles set 79101 Shredder's Dragon Bike. Features 198 pieces, also contains three minifigures, comes with a Donatello, a Shredder, and a Foot Soldier. Now, we've actually got a couple of Foot Soldiers from these sets, and I love that because you can always army build a Foot Soldier. It's a shame, although I don't think they're robots, are they? Um, this comes from the new Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon, which Spot has seen this many episodes of. I just have not had a chance to get around to watching the cartoon. You guys can let me know your thoughts on the cartoon down below. I'm sure eventually I will get around to watching it. On the top, there's a picture of Shredder. This is the actual size of Shredder, and he looks really cool. I love the look of that Shredder minifigure. On the back, some of the features. Oh, hey, I'm excited. It looks like the Dragon Bike has Flick Fire missiles. We can't get enough of Flick Fire missiles. Also looks like there's Donatello... Yes, fighting over a map of the city and some foot soldiers running behind. I don't know. And down below, a comic strip depicting Donatello pursuing the bike on, I guess, a motorized skateboard. He's making a jump. That's more something I think Michelangelo would do. I can't really see Donatello doing that. He just really makes, these, makes the inventions. I don't really see him as, oh well. Somehow he's grabbed it out of Shredder's hand. How he was able to muster up enough speed on that to catch up and overtake a jet-powered bike is beyond me, but it looks like Shredder is definitely not happy. You can go to lego.com forward slash turtles if you want to see this set and other sets from the good folks at Lego. Um, oh, also as a side note, somebody keeps always, you guys always ask, a couple of you guys have asked, how come you do Legos as collectible spots and not necessarily as toy spots? I don't know. I always just think of Lego as more something that you collect, you build. I know you can play with them, but that's just how I roll. I mean, it doesn't have to be, you know, it could be a toy. But anyways, what we are going to do is I'm going to take a bit of a break. I'm going to get this set together. 979101 Shredder's Dragon Bike. And when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the set. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. As with every other set, the new Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles set 79101, the Shredder's Dragon Bike does, of course, come with an instruction manual that shows you not only how to build the Dragon Bike, but, of course, the small jet-powered, I don't know, I still don't know how he's going to catch up, but the jet-powered um, sled or skateboard that Donatello is riding. Um, it's not that hard of a set, surprisingly enough. Shows all the other sets at the back there. I guess currently there are six sets to collect. And just moving that aside. Having a look at the minifigures that come with the with this set. Shredder's Dragon Bike. For starters, you get yourself Donatello. An interesting perhaps expression on Donatello. I really don't know what he's doing. He's kind of just like, hmm, I really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. I'm just kind of just sitting around here, kind of waiting for something to happen. Um, all the other Ninja Turtles in this set, well, in the Turtles sets, all do, do come with back shells. Now, if you wanted to, you could take these shells off, like so, and they will still sport back printing of a shell. So I suppose if you wanted to have them sitting down in a vehicle or something like that. You could certainly do that, but uh, I will likely have Donatello displayed with his shell intact. I love these minifigures, and now that I guess this is the second review that I've done of them, but uh, I really love Mikey, and Donatello is just as cool. Um, he does come with a weapon. He comes with his trusty bow, which I've got clipped on the side of his scooter. The instructions indicate that you can have it clipped on the side if you wanted to. I'm not really a big fan of the bow. The bow looks too sectional for me. I kind of had hoped it would have just been one long piece and then a little section in the middle that would have looked bandaged or 
or something or another color at least from the rest of the staff by having this kind of periscope piece in the middle it kind of just breaks the staff up a little too much that it doesn't look like it's a, a full piece a minor gripe I mean it's not a big enough gripe that I'm gonna to be too worried over it uh, Donatello does hold his staff fairly easily no problems whatsoever uh, again a, a clip on the back would have been awesome to have on their shelves but that's not really a big big deal for me um, so you get, you get Donatello I always have loved Donatello and uh, minifigure definitely is very nice moving along you also get yourself a generic foot soldier now I've got him holding two katanas that do come with this set I've yet to review a Leonardo set but I I'm only assuming these are the same katana blades that were are that are going to be featured with uh, Leonardo a standard articulation of course on all the minifigures they get a generic foot soldier I mentioned this already before with the other set that I had reviewed a uh, Krang's lab escape or whatever the set was that um, I'm glad that they get generic foot soldiers included with every single set um, I mean for any person out there that's collecting these I'm sure would love an army builder of foot soldiers so it saves ha I mean if you're gonna throw minifigures in anyways I'm glad that we at least get the option to get uh, multiple foot soldiers so I like that I like that quite a bit and lastly you have shredder I like it quite a bit this shredder minifigure is very cool he's got himself some claws going on there Lego's attempt at giving him the claws and it works I think it works really well I mean you can remove them they're just handheld like so uh, you can take his helmet off and showing his scarred face there is nothing on the back however there is no back printing either on the minifigure and he has a standard um, standard Lego cape I suppose as well he has the side shredder claws or I guess um, sharp shoulder pads if you want to call it that uh, they kind of stick out a little too much I would have liked if they were bent down a little bit more that they were they didn't stick out as much as they did but I mean I really love this helmet this is the best helmet you could have given a shredder minifigure it sure beats the minifigure that I tried to make as a kid I used some medieval helmets and stuff like that it didn't turn out very good it, this is a lot better but uh, I like the shredder minifigure kudos to you Lego kudos and I guess that then brings us to the actual vehicles that make up this set. We'll just leave the bike for a second. We'll go to the scooter. And again, I guess it's a jet-powered skateboard of sorts. You've got a light on the front. You've got a little lever, I guess, to control the speed. And then you've got the engine on the back. I like that this is all a flat Lego piece, and then the only thing that's that actually has the pegs is the area where you can peg uh, Donatello we'll just peg him into place it kinda he kinda butts up against the back where his motor goes I mean I guess you could peg him front like that but I mean who's gonna ride a skateboard like that you probably would have him on the side but uh, I like it it's small it's compact but it does a good job and uh, it's definitely something I could imagine from the Turtles universe which then brings us to the much larger piece, the piece that the set is named for. We have the Shredder's Dragon Bike. This is a very interesting bike. A little too over the top, I guess. I guess I could say it's a little too over the top. It's definitely not discreet. Uh, Shredder would be coming down the street. You would know it's Shredder coming down the street. I mean, it's quite large. It's in your face. I like the fact that they've given some efforts to make the front look like a dragon you kinda got the fangs going on there kind of giving you the indication that it could be a dragon head I really like this red this red really pops on this black and I also like the inclusion of this kind of uh, bladed hubcap I guess or tire blade he's got some flames going on on the back of his uh, of his, of his uh, I guess it's thruster or what have you the top piece here luckily 
it's not too sharp and it's rubbery so you're not going to poke your eyes out. You can take the shredder and uh, they kind of have in the picture that he, he's sitting. He doesn't sit very well because his cape kind of gets in the way. I guess you could kind of move his cape and then just kind of wedge him in there. Um, it is a very large vehicle to be holding such a small minifigure. Again, kind of over the top. I don't know if I would necessarily say this is my favorite set. Oh, and also on the side, which is really neat, they've got some stickers you can apply on the side fan here, or the side kind of plaque. I know that's not what it's called, but... And lastly, you've got some flick fire missiles, because of course every LEGO set has to have flick fire missiles. They do fire out there. Yeah, overall, it's not a bad set. It's not, by my idea, the best turtle set out there. But I guess you don't necessarily need to get this set, as it seems that other turtles toys are coming with the same minifigures. Now, I don't know if the turtle lair comes with another shredder. This could very well be the only shredder that you get. But I'm pretty sure I've seen Donatello featured in another set, and I think... Or he might have even been the only one. I know Michelangelo has been featured a couple of times, but I really like the minifigures. I'm not super keen on the actual bike, but I guess, you know, for a, a play toy, something to give Shredder, something to, to use, um, it, it, does its, it does do a good job. Um, I probably will immediately be thinking of things that I can turn this into uh, once this review is done. Maybe I could give shredder some robotic robot exosuit or i can give him some other maybe i can even try to give him the what was it the skull the skull head or whatever that car was that he had in the original cartoon maybe give him something like that that would totally rock it um as for the shredder's dragon bike set it's a nice set it's definitely not one of my favorites though and i think if i can give this entire set a rating i probably would only give it like a 6.5 Love the minifigures, and definitely that's the real draw for me for, for the sets as a whole. But this set, this bike, is just alright. Today's collectible spot, though, we're having a look at the new Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This was set, I'm just going to put this down here. This was set 79101. And today we're having a look at the Shredder's Dragon Bike. Certainly stick around, there are more Turtles reviews heading your way. I'll see you guys next time.